Hello, I'm Shoestring Jane. Welcome back to my channel. And today um, I thought I would go through the bedroom transformation that I have done this year. It hasn't been quick for me. I do it here and there bit by bit because I had to paint all the furniture. So I didn't just say, right, I've got a week, I'm going to do the whole bedroom. I did it bit by bit. Plus I, I just find it a bit exhausting because I have fibromyalgia, so I have to do it bit by bit. But I thought I'd show you, it's a very much on a budget. I'm so pleased with the result. I think for what I spent, it's a brilliant, brilliant result. So I'm really, really happy. Um, I worked out that I spent, I think, let me have a look, it's about 270 pounds, just shy of 270 pounds on everything in there plus paint because I didn't have to buy any furniture I was just transforming it with some paint which is a really cheap thing to do if you've got some decent solid furniture to start with so I shall start off with by showing you some before and some before footage I'll let you see that first so I thought I would record some before pictures of our bedroom so we just have this open can't really be called a wardrobe it's just a kind of indentation in the wall a chest of drawers that needs a makeover the bed we'll keep it came from facebook marketplace the dog we're going to keep i guess um the duvet cover i'm going to keep as well because it kind of fits in with the theme this is you might have seen this in one of my vlogs i did some upcycling of some furniture and this was one of the pieces so that's key that's staying obviously because that fits in i tried out this pink on the wall but it's not going to work um this wardrobe needs painting i'm going to do that white the pink chair i did as one of my recent projects um this pine chest of drawers the, the big one is going to be white and the small one is going to be pink, the same pink as the chair. Um, I have some pictures and things on here, but really, really need to sort out the storage in here. So there's me. So you can see from that, that it was really desperate to be done. And um, we painted it white when we first moved into this house about 12 years ago. And that was, that was it really. We haven't really ever done it properly. So um, it was high time. It really, really was tired. It was drab. The furniture was all at different colours of pine and it just needed pulling together and brightening up and just, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't want to spend lots of money on carpet. I have been doing a second hand year, as you will know if you watch my channel often. So I couldn't buy a new piece of carpet anyway. But bearing in mind that we've got a dog and two cats who just between them seem to wreck carpets. I thought, well, let's just stick with the floor, the hard floor that's in there for now. And maybe at some point in the future we'll do a carpet, but um, for now it's just stayed as it is. I didn't even get a rug in the end because I thought Archie would probably just chew it in the night. So um, here are some kind of various bits of different videos of I've done throughout the year. You may have seen some of them in other vlogs, um, just doing it all, just pulling it together. in there done three coats on everything which hopefully is going to be enough i have to also do a finishing coat for this particular type because it's chalk paint so i'm going to use this french chic finishing coat I need to have some lunch first and leave that to dry Today I am going to start doing this bedroom in earnest, but still doing the furniture. So it's all a bit untidy in here at the moment because I'm sorting stuff out. But if you remember, these are the units I did before. So they're the first two I've done. This one I'm going to do in white. I'm going to undercoat it first. I've been experimenting with shades of pink on the walls, but actually I think I'm going to keep them white. Um, Yes, I'm going to start doing that. I've got to empty it first and then undercoat it. It's a glorious day. Why is it always a glorious day when I decide to do painting? So 
I did two coats last night, yesterday, and then we had to ram everything back in to go to bed. <laughs> this is a problem with not having much space and having two lodges in the house currently. So I've got to do another, probably two coats today. I've decided to keep the top bit plain, wood, and I'm going to get some wax to, to lighten it a bit. I think I'll I'll do that. And then the same with the knobs as well. And I've just also decided not to paint inside. I thought it was just a job I didn't need to do. So I'm leaving that au naturel. Right, on we go then. So this is the after. You see, I'm still playing around with pink on the walls. So I um, I left the top just plain pine as I decided to and the knobs as well. I might wax them lighter. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, and that's the little bedside table that I did a few weeks ago. Just got to do the rest of the bedroom now. <laughs> Still quite a lot to do. It took five coats and actually looking at it, I think I'm going to do a sixth coat on the doors. So much paint. I find it always hard to get started with decorating anything, which is probably why we do so little in the end. Plus, of course, we don't have masses of money. We can't spend a lot of money. If we had loads of money, I'd get someone else in to do it, to be perfectly honest. But I quite enjoy doing it once I get going. I'll get a good audio book on and um, just get into it. Maybe catch up on the Archers omnibus. I love the Archers. Um, so look, my most glamorous. You can't see my full outfit, but you can see that I do look glamorous. I'm very much hoping nobody comes around. Um, so I'm going to just get on with it. I'll show you what I'm going to do first. <clears throat> Take a look at the nice view out of the garden before you see the hideous job that I've got to do. So I'm going to start painting the walls today. We've got a little bit of an issue. We've had a little bit of a mould problem behind the wardrobe. So I've got to tackle that. Um, I wasn't going to do that wall, but I'll just do that corner. Um, and I was just going to do the wall and the paintwork here and this wall too and the door today. Um, because I get fibromyalgia, so I just don't get that much energy. So I have to pace myself. So that's what I'm going to do. God, it's absolutely dire. And you know, when you move furniture and you realise just how dusty and disgusting it is behind things. So I've got to give it all a good rub down and a clean and then start with the woodwork. First coat of the woodwork, I think, first. So I'm not being over ambitious today. I've got one day without the dog. So I'm going to do that corner and the other two walls. And that's all I'm going to attempt to do. And the paintwork as well. The radiator is desperate, needs doing. So it was all pretty desperate. We haven't done this for quite a number of years, probably seven or eight years now. So it's long overdue. Um, and it's just going to be on a budget. We haven't got lots of money to spend on it. I'd love to get it carpeted, but that's not going to happen this time, especially as I'm on a second hand year and it's tricky to get second hand carpet. So um, instead I'm going to look for a nice second hand rug that's uh, preferably washable because Arch is a messy little sod. So anyway, that's my work today. I'm almost at the point where I've done one coat on everything. So I'm having a hobnob and a cup of tea. I'm not going to dunk it. Mm. Annoying though. I thought I had a full pot of emulsion and when I went to look at it I realised it was cream not white so <laughs> I haven't got a full pot, pot so I'm doing what I can with some drinks of big pots that I found in the shed and I'll do a second coat for the woodwork today and then I won't be able to do any more until I can go and get some more paint which is really annoying but I probably won't be able to do any more anyway because I'm going to my daughter's for dinner Archie will be back soon. He's out of my way. Justin's taken him away. And so there's only so much I'm going to be able to do today. So I'll just try and focus on the woodwork now, really. But I'm going to have my cup of tea first. So I'm going to do this little chest now. I've kind of done half the bedroom, but I can't do the rest without moving all the furniture. So I thought I'd just do this. This is my next little project. So I'm going to paint it white to start with. Need to give it an undercoat. And then I'm going to do it 
the same baby pink as the chair that I did recently, if you remember that from a different video. So, better get on with it then. Just a little catch up on my um, bedside table that I was painting. So I've done that baby pink. I've just put that mat on top because I had that already. I'm not sure if that's going to stay. Or maybe I'll take the pom-poms off because I'm not very happy with those. I think they're quite like the way that looks. But I do want to protect the top because it's chalk paint and I don't want it to get bashed um, straight away. So quite happy with that. Obviously, I'm waiting for the little china knobs. And my mum gave me this very cute old-fashioned vintage mirror. So I am going to put this in here too. I can't show you it. Um, that's me. Um, it's really cute. It's got uh, like a china, pink and blue. So I thought, this is the side of the wardrobe now, we've moved the wardrobe around. I thought I'm going to put that on there. So I thought I'd show you my new curtains, new to me curtains that I've used, we're using for the wardrobe because it's just kind of a wardrobe space. So I thought it'd be good to kind of cover it up with some curtains. And I've got these ones, which were Ikea from eBay, uh, as well as, oh, sorry about the light, it's a bit bright in here at the moment, as these ones from eBay, which aren't Ikea, but a similar color pink. So I'm quite pleased with those. The room is not finished. I've still got this chest of drawers to paint. I've done that one. And I've got this little one, which is going to be blue the same. I've done this one. The mirror's got to go on the wall. And I have another mirror I found, which I think a big one I might paint as well. This has got to go on the wall. <laughs> and I've got another picture over there, but hiding behind the chest of drawers. You might be able to see, which has got to go on the wall. So yes, it's getting there slowly. We have a chandelier as well, which I bought the other day, which has got to go on the ceiling, but we're thinking of moving the light to the centre because it's by the window. We'll see how we go. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with those. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Now to put my clothes back in. This week, in a bid to finally get the rest of the bedroom furniture painted, I went down to Justin's workshop. I thought it'd be less messy to do the work there because obviously it's already a mess, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I only managed to do the rubbing down, the washing, and one coat, because it's so damp in his workshop, it wouldn't dry. So I've had to bring it back, and I'll try and get it finished this weekend. Wouldn't it be good if I could really work as fast as this? It, all, it would all be done in no time, wouldn't it? So I've done one coat of the blue and cleaned it. I find that one thin coat is better than um, a, a thick coat. Uh, several thin coats rather is better than a few thick coats. It goes on less blobby. Having said that, I've just seen a drip. So let's sort out the drip. sorted so this workshop is amazing he has so much stuff in here stuff that you just think what the hell is that i don't even think he knows what he's got in here but he's got the space and he is a man who keeps everything just in case and there's been quite a lot of just in cases so there you go um, more or less the final bit of painting. Just determined to get this done before the end of the year now, before Christmas. Um, I'm just going to paint this chest of drawers, which is quite a large chest of drawers. I'm going to paint it to match 
the wardrobe that I did previously. So I will leave the knobs just as plain wood um, and the the top as plain wood. I'm con contemplating leaving the base as plain wood as well on this one. So just doing the rest white and the drawers. So I'm going to see what it looks like once I've done the sides. Um, I still have the mirror to spray gold, but I can't find the flipping gold paint. I've put it somewhere. I think I might have left it in Justin's workshop actually. So I've sent him to have a little look to see if he could find it. And then I will try and get that also done today. And then I will show you the complete bedroom with everything done. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's been dragging on for months. Excuse the crazy windswept rained on hair. But I think that's the least of my problems. My neighbour just came to the door and laughed at my jeans and says I need a new old pair of jeans because these ones have pretty much had it. Had it. <laughs> so I think that's enough coats. It's just drying off entirely before I put the stuff back in it. Um, but I think that's about right. I'm leaving the bottom bit nude, I decided. Um, so that's okay, isn't it? So now it kind of matches the wardrobe. Sorted. So here is the final finished bedroom. So I've completed the chest of drawers. Um, I say it's finished. Actually, it's not quite finished because we still haven't sorted the lighting. I've bought a couple of different secondhand lights and neither of them quite go. So um we're going to get a different light so i've refurbished that little chest of drawers there so and i bought the little ceramic knobs from ebay and they were second hand and they cost i think they were about i think they were 6.99 for six so that was good the duvet cover and pillowcases also came from ebay i will check and write down how much they cost um, the, the frames were from a car boot of those pictures, all of the prints came from the artist. The little picture in the corner was from the charity shop, cost about a pound, and the mirror was also from the charity shop. Um, I think that cost three ninety nine. I have to check again. The big curtains that have gone across the wardrobe were originally Ikea, but I bought them secondhand on eBay. And again, I'll have to check the the cost. We already had the photo frame. Um, the little lamps, little pink lamps, were from the boot sale and they cost eight pounds for the two. Um, and there's another little chest of drawers that I refurbished and painted blue. So that's a French cheek chalk paint, as is this Dazzle Me White. So these were, all the furniture was things that we had already. Little love heart that came in the corner that also came from the chari charity shop, I think, because about 50p or a pound, I can't remember. And that little vase is waiting for something to go in it. I think I want to get some sort of coloured pampas grass, but I did order it and it didn't arrive, so I haven't got around to reordering it. Um, these curtains came from eBay and they matched the IKEA ones, although they're a different fabric. Uh, again, I'll have to check how much they cost. The chair we already had, so that was just painted pink. And the little cushion came from the charity shop. And this wardrobe we already had, and that was refurbished in Dazzle Me White. And the little pink one next to it, again, we already had that. So I just had to purchase the new ceramic knobs. Um, and my daughter gave me the little pink mat that went on the top. Um, the bed wasn't this from recently, but it did come secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. And we, we got a new mattress. So have I said everything? I think that's pretty much everything. So it's finally finished. Oh no, I haven't. The, the storage can storage under the bed. I have uh, two of these large wicker storage baskets and another smaller one there, which contains all my toilet rolls, that one. This one's got all the sheets and bed linen. And then there's a one beyond that, which has my my gifts that I keep as I go along. So that is pretty much it. We do have a mirror to go in here, which is going to go in this spot here. It's a mirror my daughter gave me and I've got to spray it gold, but I've lost the gold paint. So I've had to order some more. So that's a bit of a false economy. So I just painted all the walls white. So it's been a real good budget sort of makeover. 
I'll, I'll show you the before pictures as well and then I'll try and do a list and let you know how much everything cost all together. All the cushions on the bed also all came from the charity shop so um, they're normally about a pound each. I think the one that's Kath Kids Cine I already had um, so I must have bought that new originally but the other two came from the charity shop for sure. So it's a good second-hand budget room. Well this mirror also that was from my mum, little vintage mirror. Um, so yeah so it's pretty much either things we had and have refurbished or things that have come second hand. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a really nice room. Having seen all of it now and the transformation, I'll go through the costs with you so you've got an idea of, of the breakdown. So the big IKEA curtains that, that cover the wardrobe cost £35, including postage from eBay. And the ones at the window cost £11, including postage, again from eBay. The little ceramic knobs that I'd bought for the smaller chests of drawers altogether came to £8.47 from eBay, and which wasn't bad actually, considering I got um, I think it was 12 altogether at different, different points. Um, one lot of bedding cost £6.50, that's the one that you can see in the video, and I have another set which costs £12.75, so both very inexpensive second hand and in good condition. The artwork, the frames um, that had the prints in above the bed, only wearing a pound each from a boot sale, and the other little bit, the other picture had the pink flowers in it that cost a pound as well I think from a charity shop the art prints themselves they obviously weren't second hand <laughs> they were from the artist's website they were just prints to be framed and they cost 25 pounds for the two the two Laura Ashley pink lamps bedside lamps they were an absolute massive bargain at eight pounds for the pair and I found those at a boot sale I was really really pleased to find those because Laura Ashley lamps I mean you can't buy them new anymore of course because Laura Ashley doesn't exist but they would co have cost a lot new. Um, the cushions at various points literally have just cost a pound each. So I've just said three pounds for the cushions. I did have one cushion already. Um, I've got under bed storage, those big um, wicker baskets. that They actually cost quite a bit from a charity shop. Over lockdown, they actually were selling stuff on their Instagram. And I saw these two big under bed storage baskets and they were £30 for the two and they were well worth having because they actually look quite nice under the bed rather than the old plastic ones that we had before which looked really unattractive. Um, the bed frame itself we did actually buy a couple of years ago but I'll include that in the total. That came to £65 and we got the mattress that we've got on there now free because Justin's mum had it and wasn't using it. So that didn't cost anything. And then I've estimated the cost of the paint for the walls, ceiling and woodwork and the paint that I got to upcycle the bits of furniture at £60. I actually spent probably a bit, maybe more like £85 on it, but we've still got some left over and we'll use that for other projects. So I'm estimating £60 for the cost. So altogether, that came to £267.72. And I think it shows the value of using what you have already and trying to upcycle. And if you haven't got anything that's worth upcycling, Go and buy a good solid piece of wooden furniture from one of the charity shops. MAS is good, British Heart Foundation is good for furniture stores. Um, and it doesn't really matter what colour they are to start with. Um, if you look at the Friendship forum on Facebook, it's it's a fan forum, and there's some brilliant ideas. You can see the the makeovers people have done on bits of furniture much, much more complex and intricate and artistic than the ones I've done, which are very straightforward. But you can just do something straightforward and you can transform a piece of furniture. So it might be some ugly old, old fashioned thing. If it's decent quality wood, then you can do a lot just with a couple of coats of paint. So it's really worth checking that out if you don't have any decent furniture now. So anyway, that is finally took six months, the bedroom makeover. I hope you liked it. I'm really, really pleased with it. And um have a lovely Christmas. I might do one more video before Christmas. Um, I might not, so if I don't have a good Christmas. And don't forget to like this if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more budget-friendly frugal activities into 2022. See you next time. Bye for now.